Hey Tea Squad, what's good? Welcome to the Tea World. Ooh, I've got some tea for you. As the party continues, Musa is still frowning and not even giggling to the jokes thrown around as everyone is surrounding the table, including his sister, Mbume. His favorite child, Abong Wimselegu, then said, I took one look at him and I could see that this man is not happy. He's not entirely happy. Of course, the first wife had to speak. As we know that Musa is much of a giver and very less of a receiver. He felt emotional about the whole thing. Also, just the fact that they know that he doesn't like parties, but they gathered to celebrate him anyways. As Makala continues to speak, Musa kept crying silently and tearing non-stop. Hearing those words was supposed to make me happy, but these words humble me when I'm looking at the journey we have traveled. I know they love me because they wouldn't be here if they didn't, but it doesn't take away the fact that there's no unity. I never thought such a big thing would be done for me because there's no owner of the house. Flo, she's the one who has kept this household. Everything I do, I do because it's supposed to be done as the head of this house. Not because I expect something in return, as he cries and sobs. There's nothing else I can say, but thank you, he said. Musa also confessed that he doesn't expect anything good to come out of his mistakes. And even if they had not done the party, it would have been because it was supposed to be that way. A man who acknowledges his mistakes and still sees the damages it has done. And yet, they still unite in his honor. It is humbling. He may not be a sorry man, but definitely a heart felt. Well, that is it for now. For more tea, do stay tuned as we're gonna keep on spilling. Remember, the tea world loves you.